Hi guys, how are you going? This is Mike here at Mac Observer, and today I'll show you the new and freshly Mac OS 14, or Mac OS Sonoma. Apple has offered a preview of Mac OS Sonoma, the next iteration of its globally renowned desktop operating system. The system boasts an array of fresh features aiming to enhance the overall Mac experience. The innovations range from interactive widgets on the desktop to significant enhancements to Safari. There are also a host of new video conferencing capabilities. Apple's Senior Vice President of Software Engineering, Craig Federighi, highlighted the new enhancements, stating, Mac OS is the heart of the Mac, and with Sonoma, we're making it even more delightful and productive to use. We think users are going to love Mac OS Sonoma, and the new ways it enables them to personalize with widgets and stunning new screensavers, see new levels of gaming performance, and gain powerful productivity for video conferencing and browsing with Safari. The updated operating system allows users to place widgets directly on the desktop. This provides you with a more personalized and dynamic user experience. These widgets integrate seamlessly with desktop wallpapers, enabling users to maintain focus on their tasks. They'll even fade into the background while you work, allowing you to stay focused. Furthermore, the system's continuity feature allows users to access a wide range of iPhone widgets directly on their Mac. Even better, widgets in Mac OS Sonoma are interactive, so you can check items off your to-do list without changing apps. Video conferencing sees a substantial upgrade with Mac OS Sonoma. Features such as presenter overlay and reactions have been added. These amplify user presence and facilitate more engaging communication during video calls. The screen sharing picker has also been improved, simplifying the process of sharing apps during video calls. All you have to do is click the green button in the top left corner of the app and choose to share it in your call. Apple Silicon now powers an impressive range of Macs, offering high-level graphics performance to users. These devices, numbering in the tens of millions, can handle demanding games with remarkable performance, visuals, and extended battery life. Developers are leveraging Metal 3, a graphics programming interface, to bring a host of new games to the Mac. These titles include Death Stranding Director's Cut, Stray, Fort Solace, World of Warcraft, Dragonflight, Humankind, Resident Evil Village, Winter's Expansion, The Medium, Elix 2, Firmament, Snow Rock, Disney Dreamlight Valley, No Man's Sky, Dragon Air, Silent Gods, and Layers of Fear. A new Mac OS Sonoma feature, Game Mode, enhances player experience when every millisecond counts. This mode provides an optimized gaming experience by prioritizing games on the CPU and GPU for smoother and consistent frame rates. It further improves gaming on Mac by significantly reducing audio latency with AirPods and input latency with popular gaming controllers, such as those from Xbox and PlayStation, by doubling the Bluetooth sampling rate. Game mode is compatible with any game, including all recent and upcoming Mac games. Mac OS Sonoma also showcases a variety of exquisite screensavers, presenting slow motion video footage from several global destinations. These include the panoramic cityscape of Hong Kong, the majestic sandstone buttes in Arizona's Monument Valley, and the verdant rolling hills of Northern California's Sonoma. These vibrant graphical and photographic screensavers enhance user experience by alternating between themes of landscape, earth, underwater, or cityscape. Once again, Apple is expanding on its accessibility features in Mac OS, providing a range of tools for customers with various disabilities. For instance, made-for-iPhone hearing devices can now connect to Macs for calls and media consumption. Non-speaking users can use live speech to vocalize their typed thoughts during calls. Other accessibility features have also been added to assist users with cognitive, physical, motor disabilities and those with low vision. Additional enhancements in Mac OS Sonoma include smarter PDF functionalities, hands-free Siri activation, and the ability to share a group of passwords securely. The Messages app has been upgraded, and intelligent grocery lists have been added to the Reminders app. There have also been improvements to the autocorrect feature and speech recognition within the keyboard app. To round off the updates, the privacy and safety features have been augmented to protect children better and prevent unexpected exposure to sensitive content. When will Mac OS Sonoma become available? Apple has already the first developer beta of Mac OS available, with a public beta scheduled for July 2023. The full release to the general public probably won't happen until fall 2023, however. Do the enhancements in Mac OS Sonoma this mean the Mac will finally become a better gaming platform? Yes and no. It's still up to developers to bring their AAA titles to the Mac. However, Apple's efforts to make porting games to Mac OS will, hopefully, create the draw many of us hope for. 
Will I be able to use my iPhone widgets on Mac OS Sonoma? In many cases, yes, thanks to continuity. Apple stated that users will be able to enjoy the vast ecosystem of iPhone widgets. That means most, if not all, of your iPhone widgets should be available to Mac OS Sonoma. Is Apple making any improvements to its Safari web browser in Sonoma? Most certainly. The tech giant says the browser will be faster than ever and is adding new privacy features. Among those is the ability to lock tabs opened in private browsing mode. When you aren't using the tab, it automatically locks to protect your privacy. Apple is also adding situational profiles to the browser, allowing you to have separate logins, extensions, and plugins for home, work, or other usage. Will I be able to run Mac OS Sonoma on my Mac? Apple has confirmed compatibility of Mac OS Sonoma with the following computers. We will continue to update you on changes in Mac OS Sonoma, including dedicated walkthroughs of many of the new features as they become available. That's all for today, guys. I hope you find this video informative, and trust me, for a first beta, it's pretty awesome. Don't forget to like and subscribe at Mac Observer for more Apple tips and news. This is Mike here at Mac Observer. See you next time.